All right, so um, Darkest Mines early. There's been a few changes to it since my last tutorial that I don't have anymore. Uh, got, I kind of got rid of it because of that reason, actually. Um, but I'm going to remake it now. And so we're going to start at the point when you get back to Thorntail Hollow for the first time with Tricky, who's not here for some reason. He should be, though. Um, but I do have Tricky, so... And once you get to this point, there's gonna be a cutscene where Tricky's gonna run back to his mother, and you won't have him. You won't have him anymore. And since you don't have him, you're in the state where you don't have him. Dark Ice Mines early cannot work unless you have Tricky. It won't work. So what you're gonna have to hit, do is actually go and oh, there he is. Um, you're gonna have to go to Queen Northwalker, like directly go to it, go to her trigger the cutscene and then you'll get Tricky back. Once you do that, um, you want then you want to head straight to the waterfall. Right? Okay, so um, also right here, well, yeah, there's supposed to be a perform that right here, that you have Tricky dig. Um, you don't actually need a perform dad. For this trick it's completely possible, you just have to be really quick. And I'll explain why you need a perform dad, or why it's safer to use a perform dad. But if you don't, um, if you do want to use one, this is the one you would get. You just have tricky dig, and you would have a perform dad. Um, now we go to the waterfall. Now, hopefully, I don't have this. Doesn't take so long. This this doesn't take long. It probably will, and I won't displace the video. But <clears throat> we're gonna be doing air swim again. And if you don't know how to do air swim, uh, my Cape Claw early tutorial actually explains it. So, but we have to do it a little differently here. So you want to be in the center of the waterfall, or kind of, as much in the center as you can. It's probably better to be, because you'll notice there's actually like the center point is the lowest point. It kind of it does like. It is the lowest point, if you can see, well, whether you can see it or not, it's the lowest point, and that's gonna be important. So that's why we need to do it off the, uh, off the center. So hopefully I actually just get this. Nah. Hopefully it doesn't take 40 attempts, that could happen. Thanks. Okay. Thank God. Um, it's much more difficult to do hairs from that way off the center like that. It's very difficult. It's much more inconsistent, unfortunately. But um, yeah, we're gonna want to head in the same direction we would with Cape Claw early, except you don't want to get on the. Uh, you don't want to cancel hairs from right here. So you want to go a little further to make sure you don't actually hit the ground. You want to go out of bounds here, and we're just going to make our way back a little bit. Now, what we're going to get to eventually is a loading point, and for whatever reason, everyone, and I mean everyone who's tried this trick, has had problems loading this. I don't know why. I can't find a reason why it would be somewhat why it would cause trouble like this. I mean, I've had it not work before, but I know why it, it won't work. Um, I've had times where I failed to load it, but I knew why it didn't work. And it's never, I mean, I, I will take different paths. Sometimes I will, like, go around this whole dome, this dome thing. Sometimes, or, although it's actually probably quicker to go under, sometimes I'll do. I start doing that now, but I used to not. I would like go around it, so it has nothing to do with how you get there. It really, it can't have anything to do with that. Um, on my last tutorial, there's actually, I loaded it a different way, where I would actually not. I would like look around. I would turn around and like see target. There's actually a much easier way to do it. It's a riskier way, I guess, because you could potentially soft lock. 
but it's quicker. It's a quicker way to do it. Um, so basically, you're gonna wanna aim and kind of you you're gonna wanna head like right here where I'm pointing the cursor. So and we're gonna need to get frozen. So once you're frozen, press Z, and it should load. For some reason, people can't get it to load. If you still can't get it to load, I don't know what to tell you. I have no information on why it wouldn't be working. Um, it, do it shouldn't matter what version you're using. I'm using 1.1. This worked perfectly fine on 1.0 also. So that can't, that isn't it. Um, also, you should not be have, you should not have zoom goggles. I actually shouldn't have zoom goggles. Um. It's much more worth it not going in the store and getting the zoom gargles and wasting so much time like that. But, yeah. Make your way over here. Be sure, as you're going over here, you're not looking too far to the left, like the camera isn't looking at an angle to the left, because you could possibly freeze the game that way. You want to actually be looking this way to be safe. And don't go too far to the left, or you could freeze that way too. But basically here you want to be really careful. This is why we went we we um did an air swim at in the center. This is exactly why. If you do it if you do air swim and it's not at the center, you can't actually get up here. So you want to be really careful here. It's actually really chokeable. So you want to be really careful. Like you could be standing there, you could be um just sitting there for a while and it it'll actually just suddenly pop you up. You don't actually have to you want to like move a little bit and then stop and it could just pop you up as you're just not even moving. So you want to be really careful. Now I don't exactly have a setup for this, but it's really not too strict. Um, I guess this pole right here, well I mean if you want to get zoom goggles it might make things easier if you want to take the time, but uh, it's much quicker to skip zoom goggles because you won't have to visit the store at, at all a second time when you arrive back. Because you won't need Firefly Lantern either. Um, but I guess this pole is a good thing to center, I guess, on the screen. And so now what's going to happen is we're going to L target, hold back to drop off. Pretty much as soon as you drop off, you want to be, you hold forward. Um, it is possible to actually land on the floor below you, and that should be okay. You would just back up again and then hold forward to drop off again. But hold back and then forward. Should land in. Now, something I also didn't do in the last tutorial is last tutorial I said to pull the lever in the sewer so that the water won't be rushing because I didn't think before it was possible to get past this while the water was rushing, but it is possible. Now, this actually makes it more difficult um, at this next turn actually. So, I mean, this seems slower, but it is quicker because we won't have to be pulling the sewer switch at all in this run, in this category. So you're skipping pulling the sewer switch twice. So that this does make up the time easily. Now, once you get to this point, uh, don't cross the next uh, wall. You want to actually Z target first, and then L target, and go over here. Now, as you make your way down this. It's going to try and push you inbound, so you want to be kind of like holding right. Be ready to hold right, because it's going to push you in. So you want to be pretty careful there. Now, what's even better, here's something new we do. Um, there's, we're going to be loading it a little differently. It's going to be quicker than last tutorial. Um, there's actually a different loading point we need to hit. You want to actually be pretty close to inbounds right here and this should have you hit a loading spike or not a loading spike but it is a loading trigger I believe then again you want to hit this one you're gonna see a loading spike right here well you should have actually I don't know why I didn't see it hang on that's supposed to work maybe there is someone I don't know was there supposed to be one? Let's see if this works. And then you should just have to, it should freeze and then it should load. 
Okay, that worked. I guess maybe... Huh. If you do the loading zone that way, I guess there's no lag spike. So, I guess... Uh, well, maybe there was one, I just didn't see it, but... There should be a lag spike on that part. I said there would be. Now, here's where you want to have the buffon deck, because you're going to be taking hypothermia damage. So, you want to do this quickly. So, basically, the doorway right here is where you want to line up. the net, Like, the doorway right here. This is a very short goal part, and... I'm going to be really careful. So as soon as you see Fox's tail, you want to try going back. If you see a lag spike, you did get it. And then the last one is right here. You saw another lag spike. Also, you'll notice there are no boxes. So, that'll make things a little easier. But, that's basically... Dark Eyes Mines. And I'm sorry I had to do that last part quickly or I was going to die. I guess I could have showed the buffon that I would use. But... Yeah, those last two, um... The last two loadings, you just have to... Especially the last one especially, you just really have to know where it is. So... Yeah, that's Dark Eyes Mines early, and you need to have Tricky here. The reason you need to have Tricky here is because um, if you try talking to Grinate when he's trapped in the ice, it'll drop you through the floor, and you can't continue from there. So that's why you need Tricky. So that's Dark Eyes Mines early. That saves around, I'd say, like five minutes around. I'd say, yeah, it saves around five minutes, I believe. Not too much time. For such a difficult trick, but yeah, it's something for such a short category. It's pretty worth doing, I'd say. So yeah, I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.